The Atmore community was hit by strong, severe storms this morning. The destruction sent six people to the hospital, and now dozens are without a place to live. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski shows us the aftermath of what they went through as they try to put their lives back together. Families who live in the mobile home communities off of Jack Springs Road here in Atmore are devastated after this storm. The Roland family used to live in the mobile home behind me. Their kids were sleeping in their beds just seconds before their neighbor's home came crashing into theirs. Then this whole wind got to shaking, just shaking the whole trailer, like the whole trailer was finna come over. It was like riding an airplane, you know, it started doing like that and it was holding and stuff. And I just say, God be with me. I've been in straight line winds, I've never seen nothing that strong. Gregory Rowland and his family lived in Big Oak Mobile Home Community in Atmore. The family was still sleeping when their world turned upside down. I'm like, you know, it's just a storm. And all of a sudden, the whole trailer started rocking. And I got up, my kids were asleep in that room. And I uh, went to check on them, and that's when everything just, it, it was like an explosion. Just a few trailers over, Bianca Peoples says she held on to her children for dear life, trying to ride out the storm they really had no warning for. I jumped up, I heard my baby down there screaming for me, and I jumped up, got down there where she was. By the time I got down there where she was, the one that they had they came through the one and knocked the bed and stuff out of the glass, right where I picked up from. Big old bed of glass, water and stuff. Gregory says it's a miracle no one was killed. He thought he lost his neighbor. The plywood over there, that's the neighbor's trailer. Wow. So he, just... he walked out of his trailer to see what was going on. We went, to, when it was over with, we was digging through the rubble trying to find him. He come out of the woods. Volunteers quickly flooded the community with assistance, helping them pick up what's left of their material lives. The Red Cross and Huxford Elementary staff handed out food and helped as many stranded neighbors as possible. Immediate needs, feeding, and some uh, DA work, that means the people who got their stuff towed up real bad, we got a set up site set up for them they can go to and we'll help them with somewhere to live at tonight or a week or so like that. Bianca says she's going to try and help her neighbors as best she can and hopes anyone watching will do what they can. Just pray for them and their families and pray for the ones that, um, that lost their houses and stuff. And just do whatever you can do. Anything helps, whether coming out here to help clean up, bringing food. If you were affected by this storm and still need help, you can call the Escambia County, Alabama Sheriff's Office and they will point you in the right direction to whatever resource you may need. Reporting in Atmore, Laura Barczewski, NBC 15 News.